Hey, it's Sick Boy from the Gaming Analyst Collective, and I want to bring up something that's been boiling my piss for a while, and that's the argument that games need to grow up. Fuck me. This has been being said for ages by wanky journalists and bullshit pundits who have, in some regards, some of them have grown up gaming, some of them have grown up with no interest in gaming and are now grown ups, see that gaming is popular, and think, why can't it be more avant garde? I want to make this very, very clear. Video games are not a genre. Video games are a medium. They're a type of entertainment. To say theatre must grow up, which means you can't have pantomimes because you have thoughtful pieces. I'm sorry, can I not go see The Changeling and Stickman? Sorry, they're not allowed to exist. Let me just point something out to you people. Here is a copy of the Bible, and here is the copy of God is Not Great, upside down initially, by Christopher Hitchens. Notice how they can both exist. They're both made of paper, they're both books. They both cover similar subject material, but they are diametrically fucking opposed to each other. And one disputes the authenticity of the other. How fucking dumb have you got to be to look at a medium and think that must be precisely that and only that. Yeah, video games must only be adult and avant-garde because God forbid a genre, the actual entertainment type that's made for fucking toys, for fun, aimed primarily at fucking children and young people. God forbid that remains fucking fun. God forbid every day, every fucking second a new person is born. No, they're not allowed to have fun. They can play all the old games. We can't make new fun games for them. Fuck those people because I'm now a fucking middle-aged jaded wanker who writes for some shitty fucking website and I want things to be more avant-garde. Well then play the avant-garde shit, you wanker. You're on probably on first name terms with half of the developers who make the avant-garde shit. Play it, enjoy it, and have fucking fun. Or not, play something that you don't find enjoyable because you're a miserable fucking twat bag. But my god, to be just so fucking ridiculous to argue games have to grow up. Yes, fine. Right, yeah. Because you can't have thought-provoking modern cinema because Adam Sandler still makes films. Those things can't exist. You can't have mindless fucking silly comedy and have avant-garde art house. How can they exist? They're both films. Jesus Christ. This is something. People talk about, people don't take games seriously and you wonder why when the press can't even be fucking arrogant enough to sort of accept. Yeah, there's some pointless shit there. For every Skylanders, there's another Skylanders, it seems. But there's so many different types of games, and they attract so many different types of people. To argue that only you have the right to have games made that you like. Fuck everybody else. Some people just want to have fun. Some people have eclectic taste and want to see all kinds of things. Some have a very, very narrow taste. Who the fuck are you to say that only your taste should be catered to? By all means, promote that your taste is good taste, and you'd like to see more of it. By all means, that's fine. That's your free expression and you're using your faculties to say, this is what I want, I'd like to see more of it and hoping that there's a market. Maybe other people will agree with you and there will be a big market and there'll be lots of games that you like. Woohoo! Amazing! Wouldn't that be fantastic? You know, you'd start fucking buying some. Most of you twats who actually only want avant-garde games don't actually fucking pay for games, do you? You get them given to you, you get the code, and then you go, ha ha ha, yes, how droll and avant-garde. Go, go sell, sell, buy this game, it's amazing. How many sell? Fucking 2,000 sell. It's bullshit. It's fucking ridiculous. Don't be so fucking childish. You fucking, you might as well be smug in a fucking polo neck and a beret sitting in a jazz club with a fucking black cigarette. You're that fucking pretentious. You're like an annoying 50s jazz nerd. Fuck off. People aren't interested in you when you are trying to take your opinion about what you like on the cutting edge of any kind of experimental avant-garde art and say that must apply to all things. I'm very fucking sorry. Most people like shit. That's why the Transformers films make so much fucking money. That's why reality TV is so popular. That's why I even know the name Honey Boo Boo. Because stupid, banal, wanky shit gets everywhere because people enjoy that. The masses enjoy that. 
I'm allowed to not like what the masses like, that's fine and you are too. But don't be such an ass bag to go out and try and claim that things aren't allowed to be fun or puerile because you know, puerile can be perfectly fucking fine. If you don't like puerile, don't like puerile. But to argue the, oh, no, sorry, the fact that something puerile exists means that no one's going to take us seriously. Those people were never going to take you seriously. Those people are a bunch of twats. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you guys later.